Okay, Matt, you, you quote Plato as saying that the knowledge of observation can't be real knowledge because it's not permanent. Okay, then, so show me, where's your permanent truth? At, at 2 plus 2 equals 4? Because I've studied the history of math and science and the concepts of plus and, and 4 and even 2 and the number 4 have changed over the history of man. They are not permanent. They're not non-changing. They're not. There's more now there's more than one mathematics. There's more than one logic. There's there's variance in all of these and these things uh, are multiplying and within their own discipline they're changing. The understanding of them is changing. Mathematics was refounded on set theory that didn't even occur to fucking Plato. Okay. And then there were problems in that and they're redoing it again. I mean these things are changing. Where is your permanent idea then? Okay, you've got permanent ideas. Plato tells you. See, I know Plato can be inspiring. These beautiful idealizations, these permanent ideas of knowledge, how lovely that would be. Too bad you can't point to any truth that is nearly as enduring as what Plato said we ought to hold our standards up to. His standards were unrealistic in the extreme, trivially unsatisfiable. Okay, there is no permanent knowledge. Look around, explain the goddamn knowledge we have. Instead of, I mean, I'm not upset with you, I'm sorry, but it's just like, explain the knowledge we have. Instead of explaining the knowledge we've never had, never known, never seen, never, never found. You know, explain fucking that. Explain the biology of reality. Not, you know, the biology of how the fountain of youth water works is great, except for we never have found that. So it's not that useful compared to explain the knowledge we do have. That's what I'd like, a philosophy and epistemology that explains the goddamn knowledge we actually have instead of saying that that's not real knowledge and this other stuff that we can't ever have is real knowledge. Meanwhile, I kind of have it. You can get a feeling of it. You can apprehend it. You can metaphysically connect with it. Now, you don't say all of those things, but basically that's what I'm arguing against, you know? that if there is no permanent knowledge. You know, holding your standards up so high that you need something that can never be satisfied, that's not really a high standard. That's a low standard, because you're never going to meet that standard. So you're going to need some other way, some other practical way of living an actual life and accepting the knowledge that you use to live. And that's going to be some crazy weird standard, because you've accepted it from all of the criteria of empiricism, of, of observation. And, you know, in a way, by Plato's definition, we are not explaining things uh, by just observing. But obviously, by some more modern definition, we, we explain them. We explain these systems of motion. We describe them in mathematical and with forms and things, just all like Nietzsche. I mean, excuse me, like Plato would say. But we just don't call it what Plato would call it. We don't call it these idealized forms. We don't say that it's fundamental. You know, the planets move in ellipses, roughly more or less, except for relativity, you know, and for, you know, and, and we, we, we accept that we have these forms, but we don't play this, and they're fundamentally true and enduring and will be forever, it will always be an ellipse. That's the kind of thinking that leads you to think, no, it's probably a circle, because what's more perfect, and it's got to be perfect and enduring and forever, but it's not, you know, the, the planetary orbits aren't that stable, they're changing, everything's changing, everything's in flux, just like he said, uh, knowledge from observation was well okay live with it it hasn't you know we've been able to figure out some stuff we call knowledge based on the stuff we actually do know not on the stuff we don't know but on the stuff we do know and I would like to see that explained and that's what I try to explain